What up YouTube, what is going on and welcome back to Dante's Rant Room and I am your host Dante and we are back with another video. So, we've discussed countless times about the attack on female sex appeal, especially when it comes to fictional characters. A lot of eminists, right? rally together from all over the globe to combat and rage against sexiness because they got nothing better to do with their lives and now japan seems to have kicked things up a notch because according to senkaku complex J japanese communist oh no yeah party shuts down another pool swimsuit photo session yeah, such a shame. Now just wait till you see their reasons behind why they did such foolishness. However, with that aside, okay, hear me out, with that aside, um, what's wrong with bathing suits? What's wrong with swimsuits, right? I mean, women all over the world wear them to the beach, to the pools and whatnot. Some just wear it on extremely hot summer days to remain cool. Ah, yes, it's just a bunch of bitter old hags and miserable young women, right? Just mad <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't get it. They, they support a controlled sex appeal, meaning you can wear whatever you want only if I like it. If I don't like it, you can't wear it. If I don't like sex appeal in anime, no, you can't watch it. You can't like it. You're not allowed to view it. Before I continue, make sure you guys do me a favor and hit the red subscribe button and notification bell. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. Every once in a while, we talk about Japanese culture. Our goal is to reach 2K subscribers, and I'd really appreciate you guys' support. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video, a comment to engage in conversation and to help with the good old YouTube algorithm and share this video and follow me on Twitter. So, with all that being said, let's jump right into the article from Senkaku Complex. So it says, Japanese Communist Party women are at it again, taking more jobs and opportunities from other women, this time by shutting down a pool swimsuit photo session at a water park in Saitama prefecture all right went on to say as per usual the japanese communist party dug its claws into what it deemed problematic over the organization investigated and found info that minors were to appear in a pool swimsuit photo session at a saitama water park the organization requested a prefectural government to ban the rental of the park claiming that it violated Article 1 of the City Park Law. Now, listen, I don't know much about Japanese rules, regs, and laws, okay? But with that being said, I'm sure if they had just asked the right question, they would have found out that maybe their info was wrong and that there were no minors involved with the photo shoot that was done in broad daylight. Yeah. You see how silly this sounds already, guys? You hear that? But either way, let's continue. Tokyo Lily, the company behind the swimsuit photo uh, session, shared two days later the event was canceled due to the water park being requested to stop renting its space for the event. The company recently hosted swimsuit photo session at water parks that went off without a hitch, including one guest featuring Shinya Arino, from the Manzai duo Yoiko. Don't know who they are, but um, I'm not, I mean, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> um, giving y'all some free fan service today. Uh, yeah, I expect a thank you in the comments, <laughs> okay? Um, several performance models and female cosplayers voiced their criticism of the Japanese Communist Party, which consists of middle-aged women. Ah. Got them. We fucking got them. There it is. For the essentially for essentially taken away from women doing nothing to help in return. So they're like, hey, you took our job from us. 
and then you just walked away, didn't offer some kind of um, backup plan to help us get money, cause we're here to get that money, and that's it. You just, hey, we see you guys posing sexy in your swimsuits, and we are against it. And you guys didn't help him at all. Ooh boy. Anyway, goes on to say, uh, this is, I guess this is a quote, says, there has already been a number of pool swimsuit photo sessions that were canceled due to the Japanese Communist Party. So it's not the first one. There's a bunch of them. Holy shite. The Communist Party continued to crush more dreams and steal places where women can shine. You can't even guarantee anything, right? Then why not leave it alone? This shouldn't be allowed. I won't forgive you. This is a statement from this particular woman right here, voicing her disdain and anger, rightfully so, towards the Japanese Communist Party. Because let's face it, according to the article, uh, a bunch of bitter, middle-aged sea hags <laughs> who got nothing better to do, who are probably envious of the younger women who obviously look better and getting all the attention. And they found a very disgusting reason to get this stuff canceled. And it's just silly. It is silly. What do you guys thoughts about this? Drop them down below in the comments section. Obviously looking forward to reading your comments as always. And let's get a conversation going. Do you guys think the Japanese Communist Party had a point? Or do you guys think that they're full of boo? Shite, tell me your thoughts in the comment section. And let's continue. Other women who participated in the pool swimsuit photo session at the Saitama Water Park shared similar sentiments along with a look at some of their swimsuit photos to enlighten the mood. Sorry, to lighten the mood. Okay. Um, like I said, y'all owe me a big old thank you <laughs> for what's gonna, I'm about to show y'all because I know some of y'all like this stuff. I ain't mad at y'all. I ain't mad. So these are the photos that were, as you can see, most importantly, done in broad daylight. I don't think people who wanted to uh, take photos of minors would do it in broad daylight. Uh, I don't think they would commit such heinous crimes during the day. I don't think so. And people in the background watching, I, I don't think it would be a thing. No. <laughs> But yeah, here are the photos, and I guess we're at the end of the article, where it says Twitter, a Twitter user appeared to have found out what Japanese Communist Party women discovered during the investigation, quote unquote, that led to them to believe that minors were to be featured in a gravure session. Let's see what they have for us, okay? So it says, when looking at the schedule for the water parks event, they probably saw the part that said young children, quote unquote, which likely led to them to jump to conclusions about it being for a photo shoot session featuring children. However, had they paid attention to the rest of the timetable, they would have noticed that young children and other labels were to indicate different pools at the water park. The label on the timetable was basically for a swimsuit photo session that was to take place at a pool for young children and not a grab your photo session featuring young children, as confirmed by the Japanese Communist Party, which once again ruins something good for nothing while taking away more opportunities from young women. Wow. Crazy stuff coming out of Japan right now. We got all these annoying pranksters foreign pranksters in Japan, and now we have this. Um, it's insane. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there in Japan, but they're starting to, starting to sound and uh, resemble the West. I hate to say it. I know y'all don't want to hear it, but it's, it's a fact. I, like I said before, I think I said it last year, I'm not saying that the change will happen overnight, but it'll gradually happen. And when you finally notice it, you'll be like, holy crap, when did all this happen? Watch the change slowly happen in Japan. I put money on it, guys. I mean, YouTube doesn't really pay me much, but <laughs> I'm just saying, um, change is happening. And these um, bitter old sea hags are just the beginning, and I'm sure eventually they'll grow, mimicking the US because Everyone copies us. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. 
Anywho, what do you guys thoughts about this whole situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do me a favor, guys. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor. Hit the red subscribe button for more videos like this. I have decided that most likely um Fridays will be obviously fan service Fridays. I got some stuff in store for you guys. And week in review Fridays. Uh the those that would be a live. We just review all the controversy during the week. That'll be fun. Okay. And I'm um, looking forward to getting that started for you guys. But anyway, make sure you guys follow me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the comment section and in the next video. Later.